A Trump-appointed federal judge rejected Bannon's request to delay the trial. The former Trump adviser was indicted last year for ignoring a subpoena from the January 6th committee. The judge dismissed several motions from Bannon's legal team, leading to Bannon's lawyer asking the judge, quote, what is the point of going to trial if there are no defenses? The judge agreed and told Bannon's team to consider that. Uh, meanwhile, the Justice Department says Bannon's sudden wish to testify before the January 6th committee is nothing more than a last-ditch attempt to avoid accountability. Over the weekend, Bannon's legal team said he would give testimony after former President Trump waived executive privilege. But a new filing from the DOJ says there was never any privilege to begin with. A Trump lawyer told the FBI the former president never actually invoked executive privilege over any particular information or materials. The Justice Department also says Bannon's willingness to comply now will not help him, writing the criminal contempt statute is not intended to procure compliance. It is intended to punish past noncompliance. So, Hugo, how much trouble is Steve Bannon in and what's he trying to do? I think he's in a lot of trouble. I mean, Judge Nichols yesterday really eviscerated his defenses. In fact, the only defenses he really has left is that he somehow misunderstood the deadlines in the subpoena, or he was misinformed about the deadlines in the subpoena, and that he might have possibly interpreted the committee coming back to him after the deadline when they sent a letter saying, you know, we hope you still cooperate, as somehow that he was not in willful default or willful noncompliance of that subpoena. Those are the only avenues left for him to um, argue. I mean, there, there is just nothing mm. left for him. I mean, Judge Nichols stripped every other legal defense he had. And of course, it, it, like, you know, David Schoen, his lead lawyer, was aghast. Um, I think he made a very interesting point, though, um, about, uh, well, Judge Nichols made an interesting point about the executive privilege. He said, you know, even if uh, there was executive privilege concerns um, or arguments to be made, it wouldn't apply in Bannon's case because the DOJ legal memos that his lawyers are citing don't apply to a private citizen like Steve Bannon, who was a former aide to a former president by the time January 6th rolled out and was in no position to be ignoring a subpoena. So I think Bannon's next option is either to take his chances and go to trial and try and convince a jury, and then when he loses, to go to the appellate court and try and overturn the controlling case law, or he just pleads at this point. Hugo, let's hop wow. down to the state of Georgia. We mentioned this story a bit earlier. A judge in Fulton County has ordered Senator Lindsey Graham to testify before a special grand jury investigating Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in the state of Georgia. Graham was one of a handful of Trump confidants subpoenas last week, but his lawyers say he will fight it in court. In his ruling yesterday, the judge called Graham a, quote, necessary and material witness to Georgia's grand jury probe and has ordered him to testify on August 2nd. So, Hugo, are we going to see Senator Graham down in Fulton County? Remember, Brad Raffensperger says that he, too, Lindsey Graham, called Brad Raffensperger, Lindsey Graham from a neighboring state, not from the state of Georgia, of course, to discuss the vote in the state of Georgia. I mean, I, th I think so, right? I mean, the, the Fulton County investigation, we believe, is, is it may be the most dangerous legal investigation for Trump, and that could really ensnare him because we have such clear evidence of his efforts to overturn the election there. I mean, the whole call was recorded. I mean, he's trying to find one more vote than, than, uh, he, than he got in order to overturn the election. So, you know, I think it's a very dangerous investigation for him. It's a treacherous legal moment. But Lindsey Graham, I mean, he would have known, no doubt, in real time, um, because he was so close to the former president. And the fact that he's calling Brad Raffensperger uh, roughly at the same time, trying to get him to do Trump's bidding, almost like Trump's lackey, shows that there was a meeting of the minds here. Both Trump and Lindsey Graham were trying to get Brad Raffensperger to do the same thing, and that makes him a very important witness in this investigation. And even if he is litigating this, I expect the uh, Fulton County uh, investigators to really push for his testimony because he's so important mm -hmm. and clearly knows inside information here.